All right, everyone. 2016 Indian Scout 60. I believe that's the 800 cubic inch version. Immediately, I noticed that the seat is not super comfortable, but it's really, really sculpted. So it does look cool. I think this guy wants me to go in front of him because of the motorcycle. Oh no, he wants it. He wants that Chevy Sonic to go. Let's see how it is. Boop. Killed it. We'll edit, it. we'll edit that out. This is going to be a short ride because it's raining and the Indian dealership said that uh, they really didn't want people running these things in the rain. I know it's not raining now, but it was just raining a minute ago while well, I was running these things around. So I gotta say that uh, I'm five foot eleven and a half inches tall, and the controls on this, the forward controls for your foot pegs, they are um, kind of kind of close in. So I find my legs bent in. I find my spine kind of curved a little bit down at the bottom, like where my hips are. Which doesn't really, it doesn't really hurt or help the uh, seat comfort, but uh, it does make me feel like I may be possibly mooning the people behind me, which is a bit self-conscious. I also have to say that this clutch lever is like super stiff, super stiff. That being said. This bike is quite powerful. I believe they told me it's got uh, 74 horsepower. See, I'm doing 60 and it's pulling over 32 RPMs. I'm in fifth gear, which is the highest gear that it has. And uh, the 2900 RPMs, I'm going uphill to 55 miles an hour. It's, you know, it's just, it's just chilling. And uh, that's, that's fantastic. So this bike would be really, really good for people that want to do a lot of highway commuting. I, I don't see a problem at all. It's still got, okay, 2400 RPMs. I'm at 45 miles an hour. Okay, so you can't really do, roll on, on fifth gear. Let's see. Okay, 44, 45 miles an hour, 2300 RPMs. Let's drop down to third. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it'll drop to and disappear basically. Um, handlebars are really nice, good grip on it, I think they're good width apart, a little bit far forward too, so that again makes me feel like I'm st stretching forward to try and reach these controls, I don't really like that, um, yeah, that'll get kind of tiresome over over time, I can, I can just tell you that, um, will say though, I mean fit and finish on this is great, the build quality on this is fantastic, it's really smooth it's like ridiculously smooth on my current motorcycle my boulevard uh, if I roll on it I can feel a little bit of vibration from the cylinders firing below me but I can't feel that at all on this can't really I can kind of hear it too again suck is awesome this this bike is completely stock I'm riding it as a demo um, so it's exactly how it comes from the factory there's no difference uh, that's the dealership right there I'm just gonna passing turn around and go back uh, to get a little bit more time with the bike but um, well the engine braking is a little bit of a vibration other than that there's no vibration in the foot pegs or in the handlebars and the seat everything is is just super smooth and on shifting like I, I can barely tell if I'm shifting at all honestly I, there's no clank there's no sound there's no uh, abrupt bump I mean, in first gear, of course, when you're stopped, you feel it, but that's every motorcycle that I've ever ridden so far. It's par for the course. I've even ridden uh, one of those uh, automatic motorcycles that you can get from Honda, because uh, uh, a friend of mine has one, and uh, even that will shudder pretty hard when you go to first. See, I just dropped it to first right there, gearing down, and couldn't even feel it. What's up, buddy? So, it's great. So, let's see, what's idle? Got the clutch in, sitting still, about 
between 1050 and 1100 is idle. Got a little clock right there. We have a finger switch to cycle between, so there is the engine temperature, 179 degrees. We got the trip meter, I believe. No, th oh, that's just the total miles on the bike, so it's got 11 total miles. There's the trip meter. And now we're back to the tachometer, and I think this is gear indicator, I think. Well, I'm in first right now. There's neutral. Yeah, well, maybe it is a gear indicator. Ah, you pull on the clutch any, and that goes to just not a number anymore. See if it doesn't want to shift. Yes, it does. Okay. That I find as being odd. You know what? Let's filter. I have a dealer tag on this bike. It's not like they're going to attribute it to me. <clears throat> Gosh, this bike is really nice. This would be a perfect, like, in-town bike. So if you live in a, a decently built-up city, um, the bike's perfect. The bike's perfect because you won't be on it for very long, most likely, uh, to get fatigued from the kind of strange position. If you're shorter than me, you probably won't find it as bad, honestly. If you're shorter and maybe have just slightly longer arms, the bike should work completely fine for you. I don't think that you would actually have the same complaints that I have right now. Let's turn it around because this is wet through here, so I must be running up ahead, maybe. So I'll just turn it around. Um, but. But yes, if, you, if you're in a, a larger built-up city, then... Oh, wet pavement. Wet and slick pavement. Ah. Got to stand up and stretch. Okay, I just found something. Uh, my leg just touched uh, the uh, cover on this engine, and it's really hot. Like, a lot hotter than I get, or have gotten on any of the other bikes that I've ridden. Let this black car go. Man, I really didn't want to drive this motorcycle. I don't own it. It is a demo unit. And it's expensive. Ah, okay. My left hip is kind of getting a cramp now after all that. It took like all of my power to keep from dropping it. I guess I. I'll, I'll keep that in my video, because why not? Uh, but, uh, just so you know, you can save the bike from falling over. I believe the, the man at the dealership told me that the uh, bike has a weight of uh, 500 and some change. I think it was in low fives, maybe high fours, somewhere in the neighborhood. The, um, Anyway, back to the uh, the riding position. With these handlebars, especially kind of like how the drag bars, and well, it's even hot right here next to my left thigh, is kind of like, it reminds me of those cafe racers, you know? Um, the ones reminiscent that uh, Triumph uh, still make with the Thruxton, or uh, the new um, Harley-Davidson Cruiser. They came out with what was called the Roadster. No, the new Harley Davidson. Um, so it does feel like that. Uh, it kind of puts me in the. Gosh, this thing is really hot. And these people need to move. Okay, the light's about to change, so I'm not gonna. I was about to turn it off and let it not just sit here idling. Oh wait, well the light changed for them. Whew. It's hot. See? 
person over there was smiling, gave me a little wave sitting next to me, so people like the Andean, you know? It's a great motorcycle. Okay, let's move. Let's do it. I'm gonna hit the horn too when I get out of here. I'm not gonna do it right now because I figured I might bug them. Hey buddy, friend. But uh just wanna hear what it sounds like. I'm always interested. Ah. Well then. Hmm. Par for the course for for motorcycle horns, as far as I'm concerned, that feels much better getting some of that air on this bike. All right, I'm going to take this back uh, over here to Indian. Whoa, we got a red light. Indian. Oh yeah, that engine, engine braking is no joke. Uh, take it back over here to Indian Motorcycles of Knoxville, Tennessee. Let them have their backpack, hop on my bike, and then get home before it kind of opens up any even worse and then stretch my hip out. <laughs> I'm still in my 20s, I can't be this old. <laughs> and, oh, it, it wasn't working. He, he fled from the same motorcycle dealership where I was just at, I don't know. He's demoing too, or what? But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take this back, so I'm gonna sign off. Maybe I can do some more of these reviews uh, in the future, if they keep doing the demo days. Uh, anyway, ride safe, everyone. Ah, it's starting to rain again. Warm.